What is going on everybody? My name is Adam and I'm back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be going over some awesome flicker transitions that you can use in your next video. This video is going to be super quick. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. But if you're new here, welcome to the culture drop and new videos every week. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications to be updated when I drop a video. And if you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And also guys, follow me on Instagram if you want to be updated when I drop a new product pack. And without further ado, let's get into the screen. All right, guys, so now we're in Premiere Pro. And so what I have my two clips right here. So I have one clip right here and this is got performing in a music video. And I have another clip of him performing in that same music video. So for the first flicker transition, what we want to do is I want to go ahead and combine my clips. So I want to make a nested clip. So let's go ahead and increase the timeline size. And we're going to go ahead and start in the middle and we're going to go ahead and hold shift. I'm going to go to the left twice. So one, two, I'm going to make a cut right here. So bring out your blade tool and make a cut. And then we're going to go ahead and go back to the center, go to the right, hold shift, go to the right two times. We're going to make another cut. Awesome. So now we're going to decrease our timeline and we're going to go ahead and highlight both these clips, right click and press nest. And so now we have a nested sequence for our first flicker transition. We're just going to go ahead and have a basic, simple flicker. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is go to our effects panel, type transform. And now we're going to go ahead and grab this distort transform. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and go to the front of our clip and we're going to go to this transform panel and we're going to go ahead and go to the opacity tab. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is just skip one frame each time. So every other frame, will be the flicker. So I'll go ahead and toggle on the stopwatch and we'll go ahead and make this zero. Our next frame will be 100. Our next frame will be zero. Our next frame will be 100. Our next frame will be zero. And I will keep going like this until I have completed the transition. So I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. So let's go ahead and check out our transition. So now you have a dope, quick flicker. And what's awesome about this is that I use the transform effect so you can toggle it off if you don't want to preview it or if you can toggle it back on if you want to preview it. And also you can actually save this as a preset. So if you right click and you press save preset, you can actually create your own Flickr transition and you can actually save it and use it for later. So if we go ahead and go back to our presets, you can see we have our Flickr transition one and I'll go ahead and delete this and I'll just go ahead and apply this effect. And as you can see, we have our flicker transition and all you gotta do is just drag it onto your clip and then press play and you have an awesome flicker effect. Great. So let's go on to our next transition, which is going to be a flash flicker. So what we're going to go ahead and do is grab the levels effect. So you're going to find it in adjustment. We're going to go to levels and then we have our effect applied to our nested sequence. And we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing that we did with the transform. We're going to go ahead and go to the beginning. We're going to toggle on this white input. So we're going to go ahead and press the stopwatch icon. So we're going to go ahead and toggle this to 105. Then we're going to go ahead and skip a frame, reset 105, skip a frame, reset 105, skip a frame, reset, skip a frame. And you guys get the idea. So I'm going to go ahead and complete this and we'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. So let's check it out. So now you have a sick flash flicker effect. Looks awesome. And guys, same thing with this transition. Because I use the levels effect, you can actually right click and save as a preset. And we'll go ahead and save this as flicker transition two. And so now we have two flicker transitions. So I'll go ahead and delete that off our clip. I'll go ahead and go to our presets tab and drag on flicker transition two. And as you can see, we play that back. We have a dope flicker transition. So now what we're going to go ahead and do, is we're going to go ahead and go to our effects panel and we're going to go ahead and type arithmetic. So we're going to go ahead and change our operator to max. And then we're going to go ahead and change this to red. And then we're going to do the exact same thing that we've done with all our clips. We're going to go ahead and toggle on this red value and we're going to go ahead and skip a frame, reset, skip a frame, Max it out, skip a frame, reset, skip a frame, max it out, skip a frame, reset. And we're going to go ahead and do this until we're done. So I'll be right back. All right, so we're back. So let's check it out. So now we have a dope red flicker transition. And guys, you can do this with 
any of these colors. So you can just toggle on this green and the blues. We'll go ahead and play that back. So now you have an interesting um, light flicker. Looks pretty cool. You can also toggle these off like a ray flicker. Looks pretty cool. And same thing, we can go ahead and save this preset and we'll call it flicker transition three. And we'll go ahead and delete this off our timeline and go to our presets. And now you can see we have our flicker transition three and we'll go ahead and just place that back on our nested clip. And then we'll go ahead and preview it. So now we have our dope rave transition back again. And guys, like I said, you can also just toggle off the blue value. It can have the red flicker back and forth between black. So you can also save that transition as well. So that's all the effect transitions. So now I'm gonna go ahead and make some more simple transitions. So I'll go ahead and go to the center of this clip and we'll go ahead and make the two clips meet again. It's so now what we can do is we can actually make these clips overlap. And I'll go ahead and start with our, our next transition. All you wanna do is just make a cut on every other frame. Perfect, and so once you're done making cut on every other frame, once again, you wanna delete every other frame. So we'll just come in here and delete every other frame. And then you have a nice simple flicker transition. So let's go ahead and preview that. Looks super awesome. And that was super simple. You can't actually save this as a preset like my other ones, but it still looks really good. So let's go ahead and move this clip over actually. I'll go ahead and create another one. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is just extend this clip. And then we're gonna go ahead and make a cut right here. And so now as you see, it looks normal. But what we can do is we can go to our effects tab and we can type in flip. And what we can do is we can actually have a horizontal flip on this bottom clip. So let's go ahead and preview that and see what that looks like. So now you have a dope mirror flicker effect. Looks super awesome. And you can go ahead and do that with the vertical flip as well. Some for some dope mirror flicker effects. And for our last flicker effect, what you can do is you can actually scale this up. So we'll go ahead and go to 150. And we'll go ahead and preview that. So now you have a nice like bump flicker effect. Looks pretty awesome. So this video was super quick. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. I reply to every comment. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. It helps me out a lot. And subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications. And that's it for this video, guys. Peace.